Gould's Standard versus Blade Master. Okay, Lin, not moving away from Blade play. We've seen tremendous, tremendous action with Blade Master, especially from Fly. Creep. Lin played well. I wouldn't say he was mega outstanding in the game versus 40. He was playing up to his standards again though. Which is, of course, kind of god level anyway. 1 to 0. He played really well with big variety versus Fortitude. This variety will probably not be seen in this matchup. In this matchup, we see a lot of decay and we see a lot of ghouls. And that's what you have to deal with. No way! Oh, was that a low damage roll, I wonder? That is the most unfortunate happening. <laughs> ay, ay, ay! 2.3 DK. This already ruins the early game for Lin. And against Happy, it's always the guessing game of what your opponent is going for, and you gotta counter properly. Is it Dark Ranger, this Lich, etc.? Against 1 to 0, I think the main question always is how do I deal with these freaking ghouls? Because he's spamming them constantly. So, definitely advantage, 1 to 0 early, but ghoul kills, usually not allowed. Not, at least not that easy. So you have a level advantage. Is there no mana? There's no mana! He sold the TP! When is there mana? Five! Oh my god. Oh my god! Why? You know you have no mana. 1 to 0, quick reaction, surrounds immediately. It's one thing to make these mistakes, it's another thing to get punished for it. Azornix, thank you for the 9 month. Yeah, 1 to 0 in full control. Like, no chance. 1.6 levels ahead. And look at this. He needs one more hit, and then a coil. Boom. Boom. The way 1 to 0 throws coils against the 200 HP Grunt. He's a god. What a god indeed. Yeah, this is, an, this is an ultimate disaster for Lin. I'd go as far and say... Lin has no chance anymore this game. Oh, a little bit of cancel, that's nice. And a headhunter. This all without Dark Ranger or Lit! 
Ik. A nightmare. Let's put up a miss rally though. Whoops. Yeah, it's a nightmare. We get spikes. Nice for schools. But so far, there's no doubt who the best player is today. Another one. No, don't. The ogre isn't listening. Oh my god, what's happening? Happy GNL sign up day, everyone. <laughs> Thank you very much, SNS. 500 bits and Twitch is so nice because it's September to add 10% on top. That is very lovely, man. Happy GNL sign up day to you, too. Mr. Stripes. I was always curious, what's the N standing for? Star's first name? Stripes last name? Is it Knockbird? Norbird? There's gotta be a middle name. Is it naughty? The player's forces are under attack. It's Neo Neo. I see. Still disappointed you didn't name your son after me, but hey. I thought you were a real fan. Guess you're not. But I also know you have good reason to. Bro, how is Lin thinking he can turn this? He'll take Neo as a confirmation name. Nice. A player's force is it is very attack. biblical. The Matrix. That is. Kiro! Paying the rent. Dude, imagine rent would be three dollars, dude. Ah! Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, Kiro. 43 months. We love the shade, especially against the Blade Master. That's fantastic. 1 to 0 is getting an expo up. The heck is happening? Or is it another shade? No, he's just expanding. He can do whatever he wants. I once saw a game. I thought it was AWL. So long time ago. Of 1 to 0 versus Lin. And 1 to 0 destroyed Lin with basically only ghouls. And that was the game that truly was eye opening how OP ghouls really are. In tandem with how they performed against Night Elf. And since then, I was very vocal about them being nerfed. And then they were. Scroll of healing now. Not a single level 3 on Lin. Ah! Oof, 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 oof. We fight without level three. I mean, Lin has to, this. This is this is so hard. He has to get this camp to finally level up to three. But to to take this camp, he's got to fight, which he can't take because he's not level three. This argument goes in circles, everybody. 
But if there's if there's a player who finds solutions, it's Lin, I guess. Level two Nova is up. He's fortifying that bottom right, but one to zero after this camp will be going north, will be expanding, and then it's still fine. It's still fine. Lester orcs would be dead for minutes. Not so much land. He's fighting for the fans, for the horde. Racers, devotion, talisman, three out of three, and all the knowledge in the world. Are under so yeah, for Lin, we got this little green, we got an orange. He might get stomp, but level two heal wave? Eh eh. All right, let's see how much these spikes do. They are really impressive. I still think to this day, the patch for the spikes was freaking genius. That they always deal a noticeable amount. Thing is, you can retreat, let the statues do the thing. Enter, nice to see you. Don't try to reason with Arch. I tried for a long time. That doesn't work. <laughs> Classic four one two zero destroyers on the ground. A player's forces are under attack. What was the spike buff? Uh, I am missing some details, but we can look it up in a bit. Are we getting temple? Yep. I don't know what happened. If 120 finally arrived in his... In his gothic chick face. Or his scene face. But he's finally appreciating banshees. And that leveled up his game so much. It's ridiculous. It just took him seven years. Or long, maybe even longer, to appreciate Banshees. Yeah, they're so good. But yeah, it is hard to break. It is hard to break with all the towers and the spikes. It is what it is. Reduce from two to three upgrades and so more damage per step. They also changed the damage calculation though. If I'm not mistaken, this was a skip introduce change. But I'm not sure. <laughs> nice scroll. Uh, yeah, dude. Armor upgrades for the ghouls. Of course, we're not moving away from ghouls. We got like 15. So full group, basically. Wagons coming. He could... Ah, there's walkers already. He cancelled the temple? It just praised you. But I guess against all these towers, it makes sense. I was about to say, like, I'm still of the opinion that necro wagons could be freaking fantastic versus orc because they never go for dispel. But Lin has walkers, so... Wasn't it Spike Barricades had a 
fixed amount of damage and then they added a percentage on top or something or the other way around I am not too sure we are taking this fight in the towers are you crazy it's three towers no one to zero what are you doing Yeah, it's time to it's time to rebuild a bit. The big supply lead is gone. But Lin smelling blood in the water. Silence was so sick! And that blood in that water was just a trap for now. Destroyer saved crit coming right after. That was a big one. But Lich Dark Ranger having a wonderful time. Frost armor would be great. We got mirror image here by the way. And another destroyer under pressure. Ghouls are coming in so fast though. Shadow Hunter in trouble. Still got a lot of mana, so once he's saved, he can heal wave. Ooh, that fight's so much closer than expected. And that Blade Master is a force to be reckoned with somehow. Still got a statue on the ground though. There's still mana. There's still Coil Nova waiting to happen. Hex. DR. Passing. Was that in a potion or something? No. One invo potion left. Bro, these towers are doing so much. Can every orc please always go against spike barricades against this? Dude, one to zero. Lin has a thousand gold, by the way. Produce! Trying to get some Kodos back. Statue saved nicely. Oh my. Oh, again we get Aura 3. This is not the first time we see this. He did it against 40 as well. GC finally back. Blade. Dispel. No more heal wave! Avada Kedabra! And that's game for 1 to 0. Ooh, that was closer than expected. That was closer than expected after that early game where 1 to 0 was far, 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 far ahead. And then a little bit of a comeback! But man, uh, Lin, why? Why didn't you rebuild? Spend your gold. That's what the expo was for. Maybe a bit overwhelmed that fight was tasking. I want to give a shout out to my colleague and brother in arms, Fishy, also known under the AKA W3 History, He's doing fantastic content about age old Warcraft games from like the 2000s. Today, is special as he says it's happening today at 8 p.m we'll take a closer look at three different versions of the reign of chaos beta get ready for some really weird stuff dude i love this i love this fishy was able to get his hands on old beta builds of warcraft 3 and i can't wait man i can't wait to see this how weird things were. Freaking love it. Thank you, Fishy. The channel is W3 History. So, Spike Barricades, what changed? Can we figure this out now?
Where would these changes be listed? Ah, oh, it's such an old patch. It's hard to find now, I think. Was it 1.34? Oh, could it be? Oh. It must patch 1.30? Really? And 1.31? It's so much to this game. Okay, so first they reduce the lumber cost significantly. And then they made it from three upgrades to two upgrades. And they added the extra attacker's percentage. Yeah, that's cool. So against a lot of damage, you return a lot of damage. Anyway, we got games to cast. We got professional Warcraft players bringing us great joy. Conceal till 1 0 for 1 2 0. And now we move on to Hammerfall. But he was depleted twice. Town is under siege. A player's forces are under attack. We again go with the Blade Master. And it's kind of nice to see that Lin is not moving away from it. I think it is still the better option. Being at 10 games, thank you for the sub. It's still the better option. And if he doesn't lose the Blade Master in the early game, then he got a good shot. First issue, finding the DK. A little bit too late here, but now. Creep check maybe by 1 to 0. Who wants to play that way? Do I swap? Oh, thanks. Blade with Claw and Circle, this is already better than last game. Ooh, early mirror image late crit for creeping. Interesting twist. Very interesting twist, I like. So stealing a big camp away. 1 to 0 does the same. And both leave each other alone at the moment. Very calm. Nice little moves by both of them. Dodging the opponent, not losing any headhunters. They aren't on the field. It's one grunt in tech. These orcs, man, playing the greediest early games. Except one archer. Night of tech. Big steal! Doesn't get it. Scroll the beast also to one to zero. Seems like he has the faster fingers here. Today. Or can Lin please win this so we get another? Huge Lin fan now.
But it truly feels like the past couple of weeks, 1-2-0 is just unbeatable. What the hell is this guy taking? Then there was 40 at Stars War and Labby as well. But the other competition... Freaking sick. A player's forces are under attack. Headhunter's now coming in. Dude, we're working on the second spike upgrade already. This is the fastest I've seen this. That's mad. But it worked wonders before, so why not? Lin was always a big fan of fortifying his base against all undead pushes, really. Whether that's the two borough tower defense or now the spike barricades defense. And what is everyone falling for it? Lich second. Is that a Wyvern build then? Yeah. Saw that early. Sees no movement in the middle. No Dark Ranger. Let's go Wyvern then. And that means one to zero will probably respond with an Alchemist. And then you can go Headhunters. Because there's no Dark Ranger. This is, like, when have we ever seen both parties, 1-0 and Lin, being so passive? Lin has invested into defense, with that 1-0 doesn't want to go into the offense. So with that, Lin's investment is paying off. They're just sharing the map. Such an improvement on levels for Lin in comparison to last game. Oh, and we do have the Dark Ranger. A response to the TC. But isn't that just free reign for Wyvern? Isn't that the problem if you get tricked with hero choices? It's a 50-50 situation, and at 43 food, you decide Expo? Wow, that's brave. Bravery and foolishness oftentimes lay close to each other. It's Electric 92. Thank you very much for the seven month. All right, is that the fight? Lich level three, big upgrade. Shadowhunter's lacking that level. Blade Master gets a bit extra on the agility 
A lot. Thank you, Death Knight, for the stuff. <laughs> Bro, this fight. This fight is so decisive. It's again, it's very similar to how we fought over the red spot on the left hand side of Concealed. And I wonder how Lin is breaking this now. Because it's also a huge distraction from that expo on the left hand side. It's just up. And now we got the surround locked in. Blade Master needs it. 941 on the blade. Gets it. Blade too late. Can't get the item either. Health zone. Oh, these 50 50 situations aren't looking too crazy for Lin. The player's forces are under attack. 1 to 0 salvages this so well. That is up. That expo is up. Can't she just do whatever now? <laughs> the fortification here. Three burrow tower. Now the tiny. Okay, let's go then. We got a sweet double silence. We got ghouls wrecking the back line for now. This level one heal wave man doesn't seem to be too crazy. Headhunter trying to evacuate. Nice Zeppelin plays. Also, ghouls taken away by Kodos. Lin is trying so hard. That Zeppelin shouldn't be used anymore. It's gone. Two destroyers. Lich in trouble. DK gotta realize that. Coil must be up. But Lin is getting wrecked in his own base. For now. Needs a Hail Mary play. 1 to 0. Only interested in army. Doesn't really do too much against the heroes just yet. But he took out everything else. Boom goes the dynamite at the Frost Nova. I still feel it's a huge opportunity, a huge wasted opportunity to not go for Wyvern. And now they can attack again in the shadow of a statue. Ooh, Destro! The coil launch didn't really, like wasn't fast enough, but like at this point, this child's play, twenty food up. I mean, a blade master can always be crazy, but it's only crit level one. Dark Rain the three, TC dead. Blade master follows for the first time, gets the Ankh, Will probably follow for the second time. And this is soon to be GG. The statues are well protected against the trees. SH. 1 2 0 goes 4 and 0 against Fortitude and Lin. Necromancer on the rise, everybody. Necromancer on the rise. This guy is in. This is one of the best 1 to zeros I've ever seen in the past three weeks. And I've seen him win back to back world championships in 2015. Yeah, this is. This is the best 1 to zero in the past five years. I'd say easy. Fortifying now. Another crypt. Like, cause why not? <laughs> Nova right when the ghouls arrive. Yep. And like headhunters versus ghouls, it's just no match. That's why I wanted to see Wyvern. Those are a bit too late. Stop. But Coil, let's get it. Lin is fighting his heart out. That, 
it's not enough. Blade finally crit too, but no, no, no. He wanted to see some big red numbers. He got the big red numbers, but he got the big zero at his scoreboard. And one to zero takes it home. Decisively. Smart play. This expo was freaking genius. Knowing that they will contest, 